welcome to the build my lover look of Creed of the Sims 4 cats and dogs. I don't even know what I was saying right there, but this is Pixley Fox and we looked at the create a sim and create a pet yesterday and today we are, are actually, I think you guys saw the video today, but it was, I recorded it last night um, right before I went to bed, but um, we are here for to overlook of the world map real quick as well as build by mode and we are going into Brindleton Bay. Last time I I overlooked this um well we looked on uh, when the patch came out this was grayed out and now it is available and we're gonna take our first peek here at the world so this is brindleton bay and this is just a sim and his dog that i created just for this build by mode we have a park here um a, an a, 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 uh, active lot a uh, sim lives there i don't know who lives there but um we can't afford that one here is a small tiny little empty lot here's an empty lot here's an empty lot and this over here is cavalier cove this is sable square whisker man's wharf and over here is dead grass isle which has a museum on it so where should we take a look we just want i just want a spot we're gonna go to hind quarter Hideaway, which is just a funny name, and we're gonna take a look at some of the objects that come with this with this expansion pack. Um, I haven't taken a look at any of it. Um, I know that there was like a stream we looked at with some of the build by stuff, um, but I really wasn't paying a whole lot of attention when I watched The Sims 4's uh, stream. But that's okay. So, let's see. Randolph is a dog lover. Sims who are dog lovers are happiest when around dogs. Well, that is why you have a dog. So, here we are in the build by mode. Look at this little poodle. His name is Myrtle. He's not a poodle, but it's a little pup. Okay. So, let's take a look here um, at some of the new stuff that has come with cats and dogs. So... We're gonna switch it down to cats and dogs. These are the rooms that are available. Let's go ahead and give us some money so we can look at everything. That should do it. And so if we're gonna have cats and dogs. The first one is this country accents, which is a bathroom. Has two different colors, but you can see some of the um, items that have come with it um, with the description. The perfect com combination of ease, durability, and obstructiveness comes together in this handsome laundry hamper. And a litter box, of course. So there's this. Let's go out, and it comes in three colors. Let's do this one. We will just plop that down. And then here is a closer look at these items. So there is the toilet, a litter box, the hamper, these this is, I'm gonna think all of this is new. This right here is new. This is new. Um, this might be new. Let's get rid of the cheap thing. Um, and the litter box is obviously new. So there is that. Here is a with country flair stylized room. It's a bedroom. Again, it comes in three different color sets. So let's grab this one and set this down right there um so this one i believe this is a pet bed the only thing that um i don't really like about the pet beds is that they are really really flat so there's not much of a, and if you if you look at pet beds in real life they do are a little more uh higher i guess with a little bit of more cushion I, I don't really know the exact phrase I'm looking for. Look at this statue. That is cute. Um, this bed, I believe, is new. So it's this chair here. Um, Pitcher, some more statues, and then an armoire. Oh, with a dog dish on top of it, because why not? And that is called... 
right? Where is it? Yeah, it's right here. The modern pet food bowl is your pet bread for the finer things in life. Purchase only the highest quality for your pets with the modern pet food bowl. And this bed is the sleepy time pet bed. Your pet deserves to have a good night or a good afternoon sleep, really. Anytime they're tired. Next time they want to sleep... Next time you want them off your bed, consider sleep, sleepy time pet bed just for them. And the bed is the cozy crafter bed, which has really good energy and stress and discomfort, but it's 3550 So, if you want that bed, sorry, I like the hiccups. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. Um, the rustic access, before shoving it off with your friend or two, make sure to check the glue for poo on your shoes. They're pr and praise the owner of this masterpiece, which is new. Before shoving, showing it off with a friend or two, be sure to check the glue for poo on your shoe to praise the owner of this masterpiece, which is new. Okay. It's, I was like, what? Double diamond doors? We all we know that it's all about how you make an entrance, so fill your house with these dub, diamond engraved double doors to move any close to the tip-top classification. Okay, so that is a bedroom you can buy. Here is a cat-centric stylized room which is a living room. It has the cat tree um, and this fireplace. Is it old? Is it new? Is it expensive? Why, yes, yes it is. And when money equals status, the cost is all that matters. <laughs> uh, coffee table is new. The couch is new. Here's another pet bed. Same bed as before. And the play on the go toy box. Um, in this corner, the parents and knickknacks. All this stuff we're going to look at a little more in depth. But nothing says coastal comfort quite like this massive plush armchair. Coastal comfort is all it will whisper as you sink into its luxurious embrace. What was that? You'll ask aloud, feeling foolish as you realize you're alone in the room. Coastal comfort, the chair will repeat louder this time. Honestly, it's rather unsettling. So we covered it up with a cozy little blanket. Enjoy. What? What? Oh, Sim Team, you're silly. Silly peanuts. Okay. All right, so we're, why is this here like this? This is not what we're doing. Let's move this over here. Oh no. This has just a random wall now. What's going on? Okay, whatever, there we go. Move that back. We got rid of something, but that's okay. Um, so here is the cat tree. Here is the new fireplace. Look at this thing. It's so cute and creepy at the same time. It's cute and creepy. And yeah. And then again, another kitty statue. There is the cat, um, or the pet toy box. I love this cat tree. Okay. So that is that. And then over her, let's put down... My cats just made a really well noise. Dog eared den. So there's this one. Which again, it's almost like the cat one, but clearly dogs, but so there is that. Like at this, these doors your toddlers can actually walk through. Um, which is adorable. And so your pets and your toddlers can go through there. Here is a automatic pet feeder, I think. Look at this high back couch. I love this with the um, leashes on it. And more decor. And this is another pet bed. See, look how flat it is. It's pretty much a rug. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't get why they're so flat. But um, that's that's the only really thing that annoys me about this pack is how flat the pet beds are. Um. And then, yeah, there is this fireplace, pictures, another toy chest, and the flat bed, pet bed. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and remove these objects. Goldos. Bam. Gone. All right. So here is Big Town Big Bites, which is a stylized dining room with um, these are new I believe and then there is this which is a hutch some table and chairs I believe another pet bed take a look here some more objects oops I didn't want to do that 
that. So let's unhighlight that. Another door, your toddlers and stuff can come in. And look at this, a giant open arch. So this is adorable. Lots of styling. I, I love this rug right here. That's what I ha we had when I was growing up. Okay, so that is the dining room. Um, here is a child's room, I believe. Best pet pal pals. Look at this. It's so cute. So, you can have a kitty shaped bed. I lo look at this um, nightstand. How cute is this? And then if you take a look, this little dresser has paw pants on it. And then there's this giant kitty right here. Um, cat calendar, cat posters, cat wall decors, and a kitty bed. Because you want your best friend to sleep with you when... And look at this wall. It's adorable. Okay? It's adorable. Um, and then, of course, there is this agility course. Which I am actually... Go okay, so I'm going to plop this down right here. And we are, let's go here for a second. Um, can we tell Marley to run, th or what's this? Maisie? Myrtle. Let's see. Command Myrtle, run obstacle course with Myrtle. So let's go ahead and have him take little Myrtle out. Be like, hey, oh, uh -huh. adorable. All right, follow him. Go, Myrtle! Alright, here we go. <laughs> go, Myrtle, go! Okay, he's like, she's like, what? So cute! <laughs> okay, can you run the rest of the course? That is really hot. Oh, wow. Look at She is super dog. She can jump through that. That's way tall. That's almost tall as he is. Uh -huh. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Okay. Good job, Myrtle. <laughs> All right, so he ran through the course there. She's gonna, he's gonna give his dog a treat. Not bad, but not perfect. Myrtle has a time of 29 minutes and two faults with the run. Make sure Ryo Noaf gives some proper training and discipline before running the course again. Okay, well, let's have, let's go there so we can delete this. Take your pup with you. Um, can you call? Myrtle to you. Can you call? No, no, no. 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 Go here. Myrtle. Myrtle, come over here. Oh, I guess we could do that. All right, call over. Good job, Myrtle. That dog is so cute. Okay. So that we will. Then delete that right there. I just really wanted to see the dog run the course. Um, let's go back in to cats and dogs. And that was that. I think that's the last of the rooms. Well, oh, here's one, a bar. Which I don't really know what that is, but... I mean, I know what a bar is. <laughs> I just mean I don't understand why. Oh, look how cute this is. This is adorable. So you could have, do we have like a pet friendly? I guess we have like a fisherman's bar thing on one of the coasts. So there's that and you can bring your dog with you to it. There is, I don't know what that is, a rug, but a pet bed, a ball. Yeah, fun, okay. Um, <laughs> all right, so then let's go here to objects and these are all of the look at all these objects this is all of the stuff that comes with cats and dogs we're not gonna go be able to go well i guess we might be able to go through it all but this is let's see we're just gonna put that let's see if there's any new wallpapers 
with cats and dogs there is so there is this wallpaper again comes in different colors and patterns there's this one same thing there's this <laughs> and then there are these which are roof shingles um, or is they yeah I guess and then what's this one Palantial planking. I feel like some of these aren't actual um, things. They're just hmm. All right. So that is some of the new wallpapers. Flooring. There is hickory and the sloppy painted floor. So this beautiful wood floor looks like that again it comes in different colors and then over here is this one the sloppy paint one which i believe is also a wood floor yes and those are the two new floorings um there are some new doors there's the grand good old barn door it looks like that. There is the clear barn door. Um, the Cape Crystal windowed door. And then, of course, there is the double door, which is beautiful. Here is a dainty dog. Oh my gosh, look how little that is. That is adorable. Um, there is the, the larger one. Um, the, this one. And then if you're a vet, you can get this one, the best vet door. Um, and then I think we looked at all those. Oh, there's this one. Um, Cape Crystal Door. I can't show you, but they look like that. An arch support and an arch E support. For windows, there are some new windows. There's this, the Easy Breezy Arch and Railing. There is the miniature window. Here is this one, which I like. I like the little crisscross on it, and they all come in different colors. So if you want a green windowsill, you can do that. Um, here is the teensy. What is this? The teensy wind. What winder? This minuscule window is so small its name cannot even be pronounced correctly. Instead of fighting our grammatical urges, we thought more more openly and in effort to be transparent. Merely name it the tiny winder. <laughs> tiny winder. Okay. And there's this one. Uh, there's that. The porthole. There is the greater wall hole. What? The sailor's sight. I don't know if you guys ever read the description. Oh, I like this window. That is so pretty. I like that one. And then there's this one. Lit lookout. <laughs> this description. With so many individual planes, this window arrangement is sure to make any room lit. All your friends will be saying, wow, this is so lit. Like, literally, so lit. Wow. I wonder who writes these. Um, seaside shore lights. Not quite a skylight, given it's a more vertical tendencies. This luxur luxurious portal will bathe any room in the seafoam glow of the shore. Okay. Um, here is a column. The op-ed column. In what began as a stirring series of indictments and hot takes in this local newspaper, the op-ed column inspired an architectural movement with its long, firm, unwavering line of commentary. It will not move. Instead, it will prop up any local home with the intense viewpoints. Okay. Um, fencing. There is a new fence. Barn door double. So... Oh, that's so cute. The barn door double is here to help you live out your Western fantasies. In this world, there are two kinds of people. My friend, who's who, those with stories to tell, and those who build. You build. 
Okay, and then here is the coastal guardian fence, which if we change that, that's what that would look like. Um, and then railing, of course, there is a railing to go match that. Oh no, uh, is there a new? Is one of these new? I don't know what's new in the... Hmm. Um, there are some new trees. Ooh, there's a dogwood tree. Look at this. How beautiful! <gasps> I love it. Let's stick it in the corner over here so we can look at it. Look at how pretty that is! Um, there are some white birch trees and you could change what they look their leaves look like. Like in this one, you can give it autumn leaves. Yeah, at the top, there's... I can't really see it, but um, there are some autumn leaves on there. Um, so if you want that, and there's different patterns, or if you can have it all autumn leaved. And then here is a hosta plant. What's that say? A plant by many names is not a plant. Hostas are widely cultured as, sh as shade tolerant foliage plants, are given grown for ornamental purposes. All species of hosta are edible. This species is not edible for your furry friends, though. Okay. So that's what that looks like. And then, of course, if you want some topiaries. Oh, they're little! Oh, I thought they were gonna be bigger. You make them bigger, though. <laughs> if you want a dog one, you can make it teeny tiny, too. Okay. Cancel that. Okay. And fountains. I don't think there's any new fountains. There is a new foundation, though. It's a vertical wood one. And then chimneys. There are the original chimney. The big puff... Big... Puffs Salty Chimney and the Leeward Bound. Aw, I like that one. So that is all the build stuff that I can think of right now. Um, and then under objects, there are just so many of these objects. I don't even know where to start. So there is the Mr. Wolf and Miss Meow's child bed, which has pretty good stats. And this comes in different colors, of course. Um, so if we put that down. Um, you can uh, see that. That's what that looks like. Um, there is the Seaside Loner, which has really good stats, but this bed is really expensive, um, for a single bed. Um, here is another double bed, Modern Colonial Bed, which is not as expensive, so its stats aren't as amazing, but it's really pretty. Look how pretty that is. And of course, here is that cozy crafter bed that um, with the grandma's quilt on it, which is really expensive but has really good stats. Here are the sleepy time beds, which they only give energy one, um, but they come in every color pattern, color that you really could want. Um, and if you want, you can even make them really large. Look at it. large bed, or you can make a tea tiny little bed. <laughs> ah. um, here is the embiggened pet sleep station. Sometimes you have a big pupper or ambitious kitty and they desire an enormous space upon which to sleep, rest, and generally lays about. The embiggened pet bed station is perfect for such beasts. Four legs and fur required. <laughs> so, like, if you want a bigger pet bed, there you go. Um, why does this chair have the world's longest description? So does that. Some claims that sitting in an armless chair is as hazardous as skydiving without a parachute. There's nothing holding you in. What if you slip? It's such a long way down. Rest assured that the completely armless canvas covered chair is field tested and perfectly 
certified perfectly safe covering the surrounding floor with a soft batting or bubble wrap is recommended we also suggest children and elders wear protective headgear when sitting in the chair in fact perhaps you should wear a mouth guard while enjoying the complete armless chair make sure to maintain a firm upright position to avoid slipping to your doom okay I think they have too much fun writing descriptions sometimes. There is that though. And then the Ottoman is also really long. You guys can freeze this and read this if you want. There's this one. Living room chairs without arms. Who even has those? How terribly unusual and frankly unsafe. You never know when an unexpected assailant may be approaching you from either sides feel protected from both most angles when you sit in this carefully crafted rendition of the living room staple okay so it's like this one but with arms there's this one um that some others that are in here But yes, if you guys ever take your time, pre please read the descriptions. I think they would be really sad if they just didn't. Um, and then this is a cool one. Um, so if you want, if you make it so you can... Hold on, I'm trying to figure out how this works. Um, you can do... What? I'm so confused right now. You're supposed to be able to... I don't know. You're supposed to make... Be able to put it on each side, and then put a tree in the middle. <laughs> it's pretty much it. But, apparently, I'm not that smart. Okay. Um, here is more chairs. What is this? Is this another one of those? Oh, a window seat. That's cute. I like that. I guess this is a window seat too. You can put that in the corner. Um, a rustic dining tables. Some more tables. A, is this a... I think it's a table. It's an end table. A rustic access. An end table. The Mr. Wolf and Miss Meow's nightstand. The end to end tail. Table. Wow. I can't talk. The rickety rackety end table. What's this one? Rickety rackety has many big dreams. The small and shaky table is weak as it seems. Do not underestimate the build of poor rickety, for he will prove you wrong and do it with dignity. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at this wood. <laughs> Wooden desk. Okay. Um, here is the Leash Wrangler, which we saw in the other rooms. Um, just a touch hutch. Protective China cabinet, which is ginormous. What is this? Your home, your home, your home, your home, your home. They'll be thanking yourself for adorning your entryway with this practical shelf, especially when you walk in the door with hands full and your pet welcomes you with their loving, aggressive lick attack. Drop down their briefcase and free up your hands for cuddles and furry kisses. Um, there is an outdoor patio with a umbrella. And then, of course, the copper stupor. That looks really uncomfortable to sit on. Um, but look, it's bladder 10. When you find you have a minute or two and your stomach feels like you might need to do its business, look no further than the copper stopper. With St with sturdy post bronze age piping and elegant flusher, this commode is the best seat at the table. Of course, Mr. Tinkle's litter box. Um, the cats and poopin. <laughs> it's necessary of the cat that they lick themselves, sit on the high purchases, and take a rushing poo poo from time to time. Fear not, the award winning cats and poopin has the perfect box which your tiny kitty can make the poo poos they want with nary fuss <laughs> oh man and then here is a automatic scoop free litter box and the litter laser self-cleaning litter box 
<laughs> what? This maker of laser lasers stayed up all night brainstorming and decided there are two things that everyone loves, cats and lasers. The litter box will clean itself using the latest in laser technology to zap away any trace of stink. Warning, keep cats away from lasers during cleaning process. I might get this though, it's funny. Oh, oh, that looks creepy, how big and personal. And these all come in different colors, of course. So if you want little black demon kitty, look at it. looks like a demon. Um, you can. Here is the glassy copper tub by Shimmer. Uh, the Mr. Budget Badges Medicine Crafty Dink. And this is the Mr. The Dr. Maggie Heals Medicine Craftomatic. I think this is the more expensive. No, this is a cheaper one, and this is the more expensive. Um, and these, this is Captain Bartholomew's Bar. A harbor in a box fish aquarium. So if you want a fish aquarium, you can have that. Bunch of... <laughs> ball, ball, ball. Mew ball. A, it's a bird. Sometimes it's nice to just show those birds who's boss without harming a feather. Squeaker, 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 squeak, squeakin'. Um, the Cat Dazzler, the Cat Dazzler Rainbow Edition. Oh, it is rainbow. Um, and then, of course, those agility hoops, some um, cat chest boxes, an obstacle course, a ramp. I almost said a rump, but they uh, run up and run down it. Some more obstacle courses, the public tinker. So if you want to add another public bathroom, there's that, there's a new food station, another one, and then there's catch of the day, and then there's some tired plants, and some wall decor. Um, and what is this? The fab and plaid, it looks like, oh, aw, put it over the door like that, it's cute. And then, of course, these little um, curtains come in different patterns. Like, there's that one we saw, or there is this, or like that. Um, another one has bones, but also has different patterns, like kitties, or not kitties, bones. Stuff like along those lines. Um, there is the, some awnings, some more curtains, there's just so much stuff in here. Um, and then here is some vet stuff, look at me billboard, um, there's some statues, comes all a bunch of different colors, kitty ones too, there is, um, some pet bags, some vet stuff pile of newspapers because you know if you have pets you have to have a pile of newspapers rugs um, fireplaces and then here are some crates some knick-knack shelves some more barrel juice holders there is just so much stuff here um, feeding the ones Feeding your loved ones, or we mean pets, has never been easier. All we need to do is set and forget it. So some automatic pet feeders. Um, some scratching posts. And all the different... The dreaded pet carrier. Uh, no, no pet likes the carrier. No pet. It means only bad things. Probably true. Um, <laughs> there's some cat trees comes in a bunch of different colors and all that fun stuff. Um, and then there's some new uh, giant pals. Here is the surgery machine, the budge budget um, vet thing, a table lamp, and then there are some vet rewards. So as well, which is a mailbox and those, and here are some lights. What is this? A ro oh, here is the rum Roomba. I don't know how this works. Wait, what? The basic vacuum. Why can't I put it down? Is it because I don't have, it can only go inside? Must be inside. Okay. 
Well, we will definitely check that out in our Let's Play as well, as most of this stuff will actually be checking out in Let's Plays. That's why I'm running through this real fast, is because it's something we will be checking out at a later time um, when we decorate. Look at this. Or you can get this cat tree. That one looks really big. Or just a, a little scratching post. And this, which is just a log, which my cats should have something like that, honestly. Um, and this, and then of course these come in multitude of colors. All right. Well, guys, that is all of the items that are in the build by stuff. Um, I hope that sort of helped give you an idea if you want to purchase this expansion. I definitely, definitely recommend it. Look at all the stuff that comes with it. Not to mention, how can you deny wanting these cute little face? It's adorable. So pets, yeah, cats and dogs. If you want to see the pet build pet buy mode, if you haven't looked at my previous video, I will link that in the sim create a create a sim video down below and otherwise i hope to see you guys in the let's play um i will be starting and thank you guys so much for watching please hit like if you like this video and hit subscribe if you want to see more from me thanks again take care bye